Hello, YouTube subscribers. This is Dr. Shiny Collins Woods. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and subscribing and watching all of the videos that I post. I truly appreciate your support. Before I get into my video about the She Devotional, um, and I'm going to be talking about the holidays and ways to sort of manage your spirit, health, and emotions, please hit the subscribe button if you have not. Forward this channel to someone else and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I am looking to grow my subscribers and I will try to post more content on a regular basis. So again, thank you so much for your support. Well, I am back with a short message for you and I want to start off by wishing you a happy fall. Today is, um, we're approaching mid-November and so I'm super excited about the Thanksgiving holiday, the Christmas holiday. Thanksgiving is my favorite time of the year. My mother and father um, are both born in November, so I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday because, you know, we get to celebrate their birthdays. But the holidays can be a very stressful time of the year for women, right? Especially for those of us who are married, even if you are unmarried, the holidays can just be very stressful for women. Because oftentimes, if you are a person who sort of initiates the family gatherings, plans them, organizes them, prepares the food, gets everyone together, sends out those emails or those announcements to the family, it can be a very stressful time because you're managing it all. I write about that in the she devotional the she devotionals how do you manage uh you know doing several things or taking on several projects without losing sight of yourself and one of the things i want to um just lift up and encourage you with today is that just to know you don't have to do it all okay i am from mississippi come from a big family so family gatherings were always important to us growing up we would have 30, 40 people at our house or there would be uh, an alternate setting. We would all then go to someone else's house. And so I just grew up around a big family, loving family. And sometimes when my parents would host at our house, it would be very overwhelming for me and my sister because we as kids had to rush and shuffle and try to clean up to make sure the house was presentable and help our mom with the cooking, help our dad with whatever he had to do. So I know the holidays can be a very stressful time. And a lot of times you can begin to hate the holidays because it's just so much to do. So again, I want to encourage you to know several things. Number one, you don't have to do it all, okay? And you don't have to take on obligations every year, especially if, you know, hosting for a family of 40 or 50 people in the neighborhood, the cat, dog, everyone else is going to drain you economically. It's okay to say this year, you know, everybody may need to stay at home or, you know, we can send our love across the miles. We can Skype, we can interact, or we can have a smaller gathering. So if something is going to put a burden on you financially during the holidays when you already have your pre-existing bills and obligations, I would encourage you to, you know, respectfully decline those invitations to host, especially if you know you're going to be stressed out. If you're a person, you know, you already have a lot on your plate. It's really not worth your internal peace, you know, trying to accommodate or appease your family. It doesn't mean you don't love them and that you aren't supportive and wanting to gather during the holidays, but it does mean that you are taking time to say, you know what, I've been doing it for the past five years. I'm going to pass the torch. Or I'm going to delegate this responsibility to someone else in the family who can perhaps take it on. That's the first thing I would suggest because I, I know how that was growing up for us when people are coming to your house year after year after year and month after month after month and you're paying for it, you're hosting it, you're doing the cleanup, it becomes very overwhelming. And the holidays should really be about focusing on the goodness of God, the blessings he's um, bestowed upon you and your family this year it really shouldn't be so stressful in my opinion i'm a person i would love a christmas tree my husband my family 
uh, uh, dog, some good food that can be catered from anywhere. I don't particularly care about cooking, but for me, it's really about the ambiance and just really about being in a place of peace and happiness and just enjoying myself and not necessarily being so um, frustrated. So if you have a problem, you know, telling people no or, you know, declining invitations, I would encourage you to work on that. Work on being a little bit more, um, you know, just assertive in protecting yourself. It doesn't mean you're being rude. It doesn't mean you're being nasty to people. But it's just really about saying, you know what, self, I have a lot, you know, going on. I'm doing work, I'm managing my children, school's not out, I have my own personal things going on, church things, community things, and I'm overwhelmed at this point. And so learn how to take some things off of your plate. And the best way to do that is to respectfully decline things that are becoming too much for you and just become a little bit more assertive with telling people no in a respectful way. They'll be okay. And those who truly love you will understand and they will recognize that you are doing what's necessary for your own spirit, your own health, and your own emotions. Another thing I would say during the holidays is really, if you can, take time to get a good devotional book Hey, like the She Devotional, or get something to read or listen to that is going to encourage your spirit. People feel very sad during the holidays, the death of a loved one, the loss of a pet. Sometimes the holidays, even though they should be a fun and festive time, a time to celebrate, can be very triggering for a lot of people. Um, last year, um, around about this time, approaching January, um, we lost my aunt Constance, you know, who died of a heart attack. It was just so tragic and emotional for my family. And she's a big part of our family. My grandmother died two years ago during the holidays. At the same time, I had a beautiful niece, Layla, to be born. So the holidays are sort of like a mixed bag for me as well, because I'm thinking on the people who are not in my family, those who are newcomers to the family. But for you, if you're experiencing those emotions, just know that it's okay. Again, know that it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel how you feel. But just take time to do what you need to do for yourself to process. So again, I would say read you a good inspirational book. Get something that's funny to you. Tyler Perry is always good during the holidays. I actually prefer his plays over his movies. But Tyler Perry plays are really good because they will lift up your spirit. They always have a good message. Um, and get something that's just going to uplift you. The She Devotional is a good read, you know, if you're looking for something to read during the holidays. And I guess my last nugget of wisdom would be to say as it relates to, you know, I talked about your spirit. I talked about what you can do to sort of take some things off your plate. But I also would talk about being healthy. I have not been as consistent as I would like over the past month with exercise and nutrition. Got a little busy, which we always do. That's why I wrote this book <laughs> for busy women. But, you know, if you've fallen off the bandwagon and are looking to get back on, take up your favorite exercise again. Do something that's going to lift up your spirits, something that's going to get your heart rate going, to get you active and involved. Take a walk, do a 5K, things of that nature. Those will be really beneficial to you because they also are stress relievers. They give you time to process, time to commune with God, time to re just really reflect on the things that you want to do, the things that you have going forward you know, as we approach the new year. So those are some of my suggestions. Don't take on everything during the holidays. Make time for self-care. Delegate responsibilities to other people. You know, make sure you are maintaining your life because if you aren't strong for you, if you don't have it all together, which you don't have to have it all together all the time, but I'm saying if you're falling apart because you're trying to keep 10 and 15 other things going or you're trying to uphold these family traditions that are well intended but that may actually be too much for you to handle at this point it's okay to say you know what we can take a step back we can pause for a year because after all it's about your spirit your health and your emotions again get some exercise in if you can get some nutrition in i'm trying to work on some of those goals as well and also um, you know, pick up a good CD, well, not an album, stream it, <laughs> you know, stream a good album, stream something that's going to lift your spirits. And just remember that if you are feeling sad and depressed during this time of the holidays, it's okay. It's a normal feeling. I would just encourage you to, to engage in a therapeutic process that is going to help you. You know your own process or work through a process. 
Again, check out The Chi Devotion on Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble. I wrote this book for women who are busy. Men have read the book also and have, you know, given me positive feedback and review on the book. But I wrote it for people who are busy. People who, you know, sometimes don't know how to balance it all or, or you know, deal with all of the demands that hit them from work, from their families, from school, from church, from the community. Because I'm a person like that. I juggle many different hats and serve, you know, in many different roles. But I wrote this book for women just like you, for men who are busy, for women who are busy. Just because it reads to She Devotional, it's, it's designed for anyone who wants to pick it up. But I would encourage you again. Focus on your spirit, focus on your emotions, and focus on your health. It's not a selfish thing. God wants us to be healthy. He wants us to be happy. And he knows that when we are stressed to capacity, our focus isn't on him. It's on those other things that we are taking on. And perhaps there are things that he really hasn't called us to do. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'll probably make another message before Thanksgiving. But if you are feeling yourself getting into a rut, or feeling yourself being coming sad and depressed as you think about the holidays, I would encourage you to take time to slow down, knock some things off your plate, recenter your mind and thoughts on Christ, okay? Because he's the reason for all of these seasons, holiday, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all of it. Christ is the reason for all of these seasons, and he gives us our lives to be fulfilled people. It doesn't mean that every day is going to be a good day. But it doesn't mean that every day should be a bad day, a bad day where we're complaining, where we're frowning, where we're crying, where we're just, you know, so overwhelmed. God is our Father. He wants us to turn to Him during these times. And so I would encourage you to do that. So that's my message for you today. Check out the She Devotional. Visit my site for any bookings. I would love to come and talk to your group, women's group, uh, club, organization. I love speaking to people. Very friendly and open. I love talking to people. Visit my website, Shawnee Collins. Dot com and um, just hit me up if there's anything I can do for you. I would love to speak with you and I hope to meet you at some of my upcoming book signings. Okay, thank you so much and be sure to share this message, subscribe to this YouTube channel and just be a blessing to all those you meet. May God bless you and until the next time, um, take care and be safe.